हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी से ठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मीड नियो क्लासिकल मॉडल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ दिस मॉडल इज गिवन बाय जेम्स एडवर्ड मीड एंड आल्सो नोन एज अ मॉडल ऑफ स्टडी ग्रोथ रेट एंड डिस्क्राइब कंडीशंस फॉर सस्टेनेबल इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट एंड रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन इनकम कैपिटल लेबर एंड टेक्नोलॉजिकल प्रोग्रेस and also describe how all this factor give their contribution for achieving steady state growth rate assumption of this model are close economy no government intervention perfect competition constant return to scale and full employment now we will see equation of this model y is function of k l n t here y is national income or we can say national output k is capital l is labor n is land and t is technology in this model we assume our n is constant our land is constant that's why further we will not consider n now we will see our new equation with growth in output delta y equal to v into delta k plus w into delta l plus delta y dash here delta y is growth in output or we can say growth in income delta k is growth in capital and v is marginal product of capital in order to know capital contribution in national income we need marginal product of capital and delta l is growth in labor and w is marginal product of labor and delta y dash is technological changes or we can say technological progress in order to know annual proportional growth rate we will divide both side of this equation with y after doing this our equation will become like this delta y over y equal to v over y into delta k plus w over y into l plus delta y dash over y this will be called proportional growth rate in national income this will be called proportional growth rate in technology that's why we need proportional growth rate in capital and proportional growth rate in labor in order to calculate proportional growth rate in capital we will divide and multiply delta k with k similar in order to calculate proportional growth rate in labor we will divide and multiply delta l with l after doing this our equation will become like this delta y over y equal to vk over y into delta k over k plus wl over y into delta l over l plus delta y dash over y this will be called proportional growth rate in national income this will be called proportional growth rate in capital this will be called proportional growth rate in labor and this will be called proportional growth rate in technology and vk over l will be called uh, uh, labor uh, capital contribution in national income or we can say marginal product of capital to national income and wl over l will be called uh, labor contribution in national income or we can say marginal product of labor to national income for the sake of simplicity we write uh, uh, de delta y over y equal to y and this part this part we write equal to uk and this part we write equal to ql and this part we will write equal to r so y is uh, uh, growth rate in national income and uk is growth rate in capital ql in growth rate of labor and r is growth rate in technology or we can say technological progress according to this equation our national income depend on growth rate of capital growth rate of labor and our technological progress so this is our final equation here l represent labor as well as our population in order to find out a real income per head we will minus both side of this equation with l now our equation will become like this y minus l equal to uk plus ql plus r minus l we will take minus l common now our equation will become like this here y minus l is real income per head and uk is growth rate in capital r is technological progress and this part represent growth rate in population so real income per head have positive relation with growth rate in capital and technological progress as technological progress and capital will grow our real income per head will also grow but real income per head have inverse relation with growth rate in population as population will grow more our real income per head will reduce as you know saving is very important that's why in order to introduce saving in this equation we will write a uk in some other form as we know uk is equal to this equation as we earlier re replaced na uh, uk with this equation means uk is equal to this equation 
यू के इज इक्वल टू वी के ओवर वाई इंटू डेल्टा के ओवर के एज वी नो सेविंग इज इक्वल टू इन्वेस्टमेंट बट इन्वेस्टमेंट इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा के सो वी कैन राइट सेविंग इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा के सो इन प्लेस ऑफ डेल्टा के वी कैन राइट एस वाई एस वाई रिप्रेजेंट सेविंग आउट ऑफ इनकम दिस के के कैंसिल विद ईच अदर दिस वाई वाई कैंसिल विद ईच अदर नाउ अवर यू के बिकम इक्वल टू वी एस सो इन प्लेस ऑफ यू के वी कैन राइट वी एस हेयर यू कैन सी इन प्लेस ऑफ यू के वी हैव रिटर्न वी एस बाई डूइंग दिस वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस सेविंग इन दिस इक्वेशन नाउ विल सी टेक्नोलॉजिकल प्रोग्रेस एंड इकोनॉमिक डिवेलपमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू मीट टेक्नोलॉजिकल डिवेलपमेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ here you can see on x axis we have stock of machinery and y axis we have total annual output q1 q2 are production curve here you can see od amount of capital is giving ad amount of output without any technological progress but with the technological progress this same od amount of capital stock is giving a bd amount of output means with the technological progress we are receiving ab amount of output more this ab amount of output is possible only because of technological progress similar oh, this ok amount of uh, capital stock is giving output equal to gk without any technological progress but with the technological progress this same ok amount of capital stock is giving ck amount of output means this cg amount of output is only possible because of technological progress so we can say technological progress is very important for economic development now we will see criticism this model is based on unrealistic assumption of full employment perfect competition and constant return to scale in reality all these condition are not always possible this model is based on closed economy that's why ignore international trade this model ignore government intervention as you know government play very important role in economic growth this model don't include separate investment function according to this model technological progress is exogenous factor and ignore research and capital accumulation for technological progress so this is all about mid neo classical model of economic growth i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care